Hi, in this video, we'll be doing a demo on stateful set. So let's see what file I have already. So this is a headless service. Now, when we say a headless service, we give a cluster IP as none and it creates a headless service. And in this particular service, uh, the meta, the selector is app nginx. Now let's see what do we have in stateful set. In stateful set, set we have defined a service name nginx, which is correct. The service name metadata is nginx. So make sure these are correct. Now here, uh, this stateful set will match the uh, pods with the label nginx. And in the template section, uh, we have we have the labels as nginx and in the spec section now we define the image that we are going to use uh, the port and here comes the section where where we are telling what will be the persistent volume claim that will be created so this is the volume claim template so each of the pod will be uh, automatically creating a pvc and now it depends on the provisioner that you are using or if you can also get so i have here local path i'll show you what that means uh, you can also have a manual and you can create uh, pre-create the manual PVCs. Uh, there has to be some mechanism for creating them and that will be the Nginx HTML. Now, since I'm uh, I'm just creating it again, so I already have the uh, PVs created and already have the PVCs uh, and they will be attaching directly and they have HTML file already in there. So now, uh, Let's see some of the resources that we already have first. So kubectl uh, get storage class. So we are using uh, Rancher local path provisioner, which is very simple to install uh, with the YAML file. Uh, and we'll have that put in um, the description of the video where we have uh, how to deploy basically the local path provisioner. And uh, so you can see the local path name over here matches the local path name over here. Now, when we say kubectl create stateful set, it creates the service and stateful set. Now let's do a pod. So first the web zero pod is started running and then the web one pod got started creating and uh, how it happens is kubectl get stateful set uh, name is web so we define the name as web and the pod names were very simple web 0 web 1 now another interesting thing that we were talking about was uh, of the service so it's a headless service so it, it's it has its own characteristics and it has its own properties and now we'll try to scale the replica set. So cube serial scale hyphen hyphen replicas three uh, stateful set web. It has scaled. So cube serial get pods. It has started creating cube serial get PVC persistent volume claim. So it just got created and kubectl get pv since it's a dynamic provisioner that i'm using uh, so the pv was automatically created uh, so uh, sorry this one so you should have some mechanism for this so kubectl get pods and the name is web2 so predictable name so as as we told now first uh, let's go inside one of the pods so kubectl exec in web say zero and on the command now what we have over here is we said that whenever we create a headless service it will also have a uh, created a network identity so that it has its own dns name that can be referred to so how, how we can check that is so we can use a curl command and it should be pod name which is web hyphen zero then we have dot service name nginx dot namespace dot svc dot cluster dot local boom 
so that was the nginx uh, that was the html that we had so you can see we can we can curl this we can also call web zero dot nginx and similarly the other ones the second so this should not have anything because I just created the PVC and I do not have an index.html file. So that's why this particular thing is coming. But this works, it shows. So if we if I exec into web2 uh, and I see in the HTML folder, there won't be anything. Now let's exit this and clear the screen. What if we scale it down to 1? So it will delete in the reverse order so first uh, you your uh, web 2 will delete and then web 1 will delete and web 0 will remain so it's predictable we know, already know so cube cdl get pods get pods uh, this one is getting deleted and we only have one pod remaining which is web 0 so this is how we can have the persistence. Uh, we, we know what will be the name of the pod that is going to spin up. And even if we scale up, the new pods that will be coming uh, will be web one and web two, and they will be getting attached to the same persistent volume claims that uh, was there. So the sticky, she sticky session remains over there. So stateful cell set is responsible for attaching uh, the pods uh, to the same pvc whenever we you know uh, whenever it is uh, rescheduled on another node and things like that uh, so that that sort of uh, flexibility you get with stateful set uh, though you have to take care of the persistent volume creation you have to think of a backup recovery strategy when when you talk about databases uh, because mainly used for databases so you will be needing to create uh, the replication mechanism uh, the master slave configurations and uh, how the data will be replicated from the master to slave and then to another slave the copies will be maintained so all these things and the external storage all these things have to be taken care of by the user uh, that was all about stateful set thank you for watching see you in the next lecture